Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. Today we are playing Seven Days to Die. I actually have Eagle in the game with me, but he's not in the party. So this is going to be during a tutorial. You can see Eagle is continuing to work on our, our building for protecting ourselves. However, uh, I have realized that there's not really many mining videos. No one likes to go underground and mine in this game. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to create a mine, how to keep it supported and everything. It's going to be a two-part episode. The first one's going to be getting down to create a mine. And the second part of the episode, uh, or the second episode, will be actually doing physical mining. So first things first, guys, is I always like to do a nice good staircase like this. Just going up to my second floor, whether you do a box house or you make something cool. And what you do is you make it hollow. So you guys can see over here, I have actually an empty door right here. And you can see I've created an empty door and underneath. There's two reasons why I like this. One is I can create my mine going straight down. Two is you can actually upgrade your stuff. So like if I want to upgrade this floor right here, I just swing that baby and bam, we've got upgraded floor. So you can make it as strong as you want or anything underneath and you can repair all your stuff, whether you're taking an impending zombie attack and it just gives you access to everything. So what I have done is I actually have created a little uh, hatch frame right here. You guys can see a little, nice little hatch. And we'll go ahead and we'll start doing this. Um, I've got some shovels on me. I've done a little bit of upgrading my stuff. You want to crouch. The um, reason you want to crouch is if you're standing while you've got this hatch frame down, you will destroy your hatch frame. So you're going to go ahead, do some crouching. We're going to dig our first piece of dirt down. Uh, this is going to be a little bit slow. I don't have, obviously, the most amazing tools, but I have everything built. So let's go ahead and talk about what you need to know for creating. So you're going to do this in a five-star pattern, basically. So you're going to dig out five holes per layer. Um, you'll see I've got a little bit lower. This is still early in this game. So what I'll do is um, we're going to dig. You'll dig basically one straight down. You're going to dig one to the right, one to the front, one to the back, and one to the left. So you're kind of doing like a little plus look. Uh, we'll kind of go ahead and kind of show you guys. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Now hopefully when I put my first pieces of frame down, we'll go ahead and show you a little bit better what where I'm digging and why I'm digging the manor. Right. Yeah. So... Um, Basically what we're going to do is we're going to slowly make our way down. We're going to have one spot be our ladder spot. This is going to make it so you can access to get it down. The reason I like to do these in frames specifically is because now um, I can support the whole structure going down. So once I've supported the whole structure, um, then I can continue to create mines um, and create a a deeper mine and everything. So basically what this does is it supports the shaft going down so it doesn't collapse on itself because that's one of the biggest worries you got to worry about is when something collapses on itself. Two is uh, we plan on doing a trench defense in this game so this will give me access to my trench defense also because we're going to do it about 20 layers down around the entire base so when uh, the seven days come we can fight from our trench defenses with concrete and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, but we're going to do that more. Uh, this is going to be more of our tutorial world. So we're going to extend the days and stuff right now. Um, however, you guys can tell they're not really slowed down right now. So sometimes if you have to check out where you are, make sure you've got digging the right spots. Look up real quick and you can check out where you are because the soil and everything's done in a diamond pattern, meaning things are crafted in diamond, but the buildings are in square and you can fit the squares in the diamonds. So you guys can see um, we've got a nice little hole dug out. It's two layers deep right now. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our little frames that we have built and I'm going to decide where I want to put my ladder. Uh, I'm going to put my ladder on this back side just because it's a little bit more fun to do. Um, actually, change my mind. I'm not going to put the ladder on the back side. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the ladder on this side. The uh, reason I'm changing that is because the door opens that way and it can get a little difficult. So, however, vi uh, being able to see is a problem. Uh, many people say that they can't see when they're doing mining and everything. So, what you do is on your first layer, and I like to do it about every other, if not you can do it every third um, section going down. What you do is you dig one further back. So, I'm going to dig one back here, so you guys can see. And then we'll put a, a wall actually further back. So then what you need to do is you actually need to dig out these sides because you want to keep support. This is the biggest thing about mines is focusing on that support and knowing when it's going to collapse and when you can push things around and create tunnels and stuff. But it's going to be the most important thing you can do. Um, I don't necessarily have a exact measurement of how much the... The, the structure can hold, um, but I can show you guys more up above ground what uh, your limits are when you're digging and mining and stuff. But So what we're going to do, um, this is going to be this part right here, as you guys can see. So we'll go ahead and strengthen these up. Obviously, they are technically free-floating free at the moment, but they are attached to the soil, so they still get a structure bonus is the best way to put it on this one. So we're going ahead, um, and we're never getting really further than 3x3, three three, so we don't have to worry about it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to throw a torch up here. Um, this is so we can see, obviously. Oop, hit the wrong button. Uh, maybe we can get this to go up there. Come on, torch. Get up there. 
Oh, this torch is going to be difficult, isn't it? So we're going to step back. I'll stand up. So the torch. There we go. Now we got it. So the reason I'm doing that is so that when I'm coming down and stuff, you guys can see. You can see that I can see that. So then I can do is I can close this door, and then what we'll do um, is we'll eventually put our ladder right here like this, and there we go. So we're going to continue down until we hit iron. Um, I will go ahead and keep digging. Um, what I'm going to end up doing, though, just so you guys know, is this one's going to come out. So um, I'll do actually one more dig hole. Um, we're going to dig down one more. I forgot for a second. Um, so I'll catch up and I'll fast forward here real quick for you guys just so that I can dig through this hole real quick um, and get the next layer started for you. As you guys can see, I'm going to burn through some tools. So we're going to build the next layer. You can see we've got it. We're going to do it in the plus pattern and everything. So as I said, I'll fast forward through this real quick before I build the next layer just so you guys aren't sitting here and you're watching me dig the whole time. So we'll see you guys here in a second. All right, guys, we're back. I apologize for the little bit of a delay there. So you can see I've carved out, carved out another hole. You can really tell, um, if you want to see how you can tell if you've really digged this in the right way, you should see actually a square when you're facing the corners of this little section. You should see a little square. You can kind of see how it's built out as a square. So um, the next layer we're going to build is our second layer down, obviously. You can see how we are a layer in. And what we're going to end up doing is um, crawling up the ladder. <laughs> and having a problem. So we're going to jump back down here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do this. So we're going to place these down just how we talked about. And this is how you're actually going to create most of your mine shaft. It's just like this. Um, unfortunately, I didn't want that one down yet. Um, so side note, you're going to have some difficulty doing this one specifically because it's a little difficult. So what we'll do um, is we'll play, build these up real quick. And you'll see how we kind of made a... We're going to technically just make a shaft, as I said is all we're going to make, and it's going to go straight down, and then I can put my ladder above the layer above. So then the question people have is, okay, well, now that I've got that built, I can't get out technically. Well, if you jump up, you can't get up to it, so it's like, how do you get it down? Well, what you can do, and I'm going to show you this real quick, is you can place another layer. So we're going to do this every third for this one, just so you guys can see it. So we're going to place this down right here. So this is this is the trick here, guys. This is very important. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna dig a hole down, one down. This is to get out of your mind. So let's say I run out of resources and I need to get out of my mind. Obviously, you can see I can't get into my walls. You crouch. Uh, you don't push that button. <laughs> you place your little thing down, which it should place for me, but it's being difficult all of a sudden. If you get down the hole, come on. Okay, so it's gonna be difficult. So we'll go ahead and mine one back. So sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. So what you do then is you just go ahead, mine one more back because you're going to dig this out anyhow. You step back a little bit, and it should give it to me for placing it, which it's not. So we'll just go ahead and stand up and do the good old-fashioned jump trick here. Um, so we'll go ahead, paste right there, and look straight down. Oh, nope, that's not what we wanted. It's going to be difficult, of course. I apologize for the... The difficultness of this why is being so ridiculous, I don't know. So we'll go ahead and dig this hole out. Um, sometimes you have to go a little bit more. I hate when you have to do it this way. But So I'll see you guys here in a second when I clear out a little bit more ground. And I'm sorry for all the fast forwarding. It's being difficult with me to get the ladders in the right positions. Ladders, when you're digging straight down, are extremely hard to place, especially since I'm doing it as a one wide shaft. Um, so as I said, we will see you guys here in a second, when I finish digging this out, actually, I shouldn't even say that because I finished digging it out, basically. So let's go ahead and uh, dig straight down. Um, so we're not going to fast forward, actually. Um, we're just going to dig straight down on one more. And then we'll look up, and we'll handle the rest of this real quick. And then I can show you how we're going to do this. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We can step back. should be able to. Step back and place this, or it's going to be difficult with us. So we'll place that. Um, I'm hoping Eagle goes gets that air drop for us. So we'll go ahead, we'll place this baby. Oh, we got that placed. Good, 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 good. So we'll do a good old fashioned jump maneuver here. Um, if you guys haven't done this before. So you've got two spots where we need to place our ladder technically. One here and one there. You can build straight back again. This is this is that whole you got to get the, the methodology down. Unfortunately, this thing's very goofy when it does this. Always you might starve to death or something. So we're going to dig back one spot here. Let's get this ladder to place. You just got to maneuver yourself so you can place the ladders. And this one's not going to give it to me, um, which I'm not surprised at. So what we're going to do is we're going to do You can jump place these if you're good. 
um, are not good, but if you, if you get it. So what you do is you jump, and you get your, your cursor where it's placing. You see how I, I can jump and get that? So I'll do that. And I can hear a zombie getting killed by our spikes that we have placed. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. We'll go ahead and pick those babies back up real quick. Um, we'll put that thing... I really want this set on here. I mean, actually, technically, we're going to go straight back another one, so we could dig another hole out here and hopefully get it. And this is why I talk about every third, too. Um, it gives you a little maneuverability is really what it comes down to. Is once I get this one ladder down, um, the box frames are a little weird in here. So you can crouch back, you see, and I can place that there, and there we go. So then that steps, and I can step up, I walk up my ladder, and we're in. And I can close this, and I can go get whatever I need upstairs and everything. So it's about getting out of the way so you can place it. Um, while you're building your mine shaft. So we're going to continue to place these. I'm going to continue to make stuff um, until I hit um, until I hit the stone. Um, once I hit the stone, I will go ahead and come back to you guys. So we won't even, fa uh, we'll fast forward actually through it so you guys can kind of see me working. And we'll put it on with a really fast time so you can see that it's not, you know, me doing something, something screwy. So we'll see you guys here in a minute when I hit the stone. And I'll show you um, what we're going to do with the stone. And then we're going to talk about how far we want to go down to start building our mine. So we will see you guys here in a minute. All right, welcome back, everyone. So we've made it down to stone, if you guys can't tell. Um, I did get a torch down here just so we can see what we're doing a little bit. Unfortunately, it's going to get a little dark down here now uh, because we are fully underground, if you can't tell. So we're going to continue working here. Um, I'm going to put these last frames down real quick. But we've made it down to stone. So what we're going to end up doing is we're actually going to go ahead and start mining out this stone. It's going to burn a bunch out. Obviously, this is going to take me a long time. I'm not going to fast forward this through you guys. Um, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do it. I'm going to go ahead and just stop the clip and restart when I get done with it. But let's talk about how far down we need to go. Because once we've hit Grok, we're in good shape. Um, so what we're going to actually need to do is I actually like to go um, six deep. So we're going to go six layers down into stone reason being is you technically only want your walls to be three high um or your 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 frames to be three high so like our main room is going to be about three to four high depending on how you like it i personally like it three high i think it looks really nice and it works out well um and the reason i'm going six down is because it can you can get goofy layers meaning um, there can be layers that don't have dirt further down and stuff like that. So it gives you a three layer buffer between the ceiling and um, the floor. So, and what you want to have, obviously you're going to be able to see the ceiling, so there's really only going to be two layers you don't see, but that gives you two layers of stone that are between you and everything else. So we're going to continue to mine this out, guys. I'm going to continue digging down. Um, you can see uh, I do have switched to hammers officially at this point. Uh, you have to have hammers because they... We don't have any metal pickaxes or anything. Obviously, we haven't started our mine, and we don't have our first forge done or anything. So we're going to go ahead, continue mining this out. I will see you guys here in a minute. I just want you guys to know how far down I plan on going um, and what the plan is. You can see I'm getting my first layer chopped out right here, and they'll get that started. So that'll be layer one, five layers to go. Once we hit the ground, I will show you what I end up doing with my mine because I really do enjoy making mine sites. one of my favorite things because you can really do some really fun stuff underground, and it looks really cool and it ends up looking really awesome in my book and and it just becomes a lot of fun it's 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 one of those more customizable things i think in this game that are, are highly overlooked in the game so we're going to go ahead as i said i'm going to continue making my little mine shaft down here you guys can see how this is looking right now it's looking fantastic i'm sure eagles looked at me a couple times going oh what's he doing so we're going to go ahead continue mining i'll see you guys here in a bit when i've done my little Downward excavation, I think, would be the right word to use on this one. Um, so we'll see you guys here in a bit. 
once we've got this thing all nice and completed and we're down six layers deep so we'll see you guys all right here. guys we're back so it took me a little bit to get down here as you guys can tell holy smokes is it crazy because uh we got our little torches up and everything uh, i did do some modifications here i did dig a little things out but you can see we've got our structure it's nice and supported we got our ladders going up and down you can see we can go right up here eagles blocking it we can go down you can see your torches right there and everything we'll repair that real quick i slapped it a couple times my apologies so then we're good. So now we have to make the entrance to the mine. I like to make doors out of this and everything. So what I did um, is instead of just coming around and creating, um, so basically when I did it, I, you guys uh, saw I continued straight down with one each. But on this one, I stepped out. I went one further out, and I went to the side on each of them because we're going to make a little doorway here. I like to separate off my mine from the rest of the uh, building because it creates a, a sound structure. So what I'm going to do here. So I'm placing these little walls so you guys can see. I actually went one up because um, you only need it too high for the entrance. But I went one up for a reason. The reason being is because uh, when I do this, I can place this here, place this here. So the door is only going to be two, but I did it three high so that I can do this. So then that's going to be one side of our wall um, entering our thing. Um, I put torches in here also to keep our vision nice and good in here. Um, nice and good. Wow, that's good English. Good English. So we can keep uh, lighting in here and everything because it's nighttime right now and you guys can not really tell everything. You can see the time running up above and everything. I'm out of wood. Fantastic. So I'm going to have to run back upstairs, grab some wood real quick. I thought I had more wood on me, but I didn't. Uh, but what I'm going to end up doing, I'll just go ahead and show you guys, is I'm going to go ahead and uh, place those last two pieces right there. You guys can see it. Put them right there. And then we're going to put a door right here. Um, however, um, this is the big catch, guys. Don't place the door until you start producing your mine. So we're going to go ahead, uh, we'll chop these two babies out real quick, and then that way when you guys uh, go ahead and make your door, you can place it down and step on the other side of the door and you have access to your mine. So I just wanted to show you guys that it's a big catch. A lot of people put their door down and then they have to chop it up because they can't check their mine out. So go two more after you're going to place your door, and then you can go ahead and do it. Right now if you look though, I've got it as just stone as the floor. Eventually, I might change it out and make it look cooler because it's going to be my main manufacturing room and stuff, and I'll have do some cool stuff down here for it. But there you guys go. So I chopped it out. That way, when the door comes, I can at least step in and chop, start mining a little bit. So I'm going to go get some more wood. I'll see you guys on the next episode. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Um, actually, you know what? It's not going to do it for this episode. Let's finish it. I want you guys to see a completed product. I don't want you guys to see this nasty little this. So we're going to run outside real quick, hopefully find a tree real fast not get killed by anything while I'm doing this um, is kind of the hope here. Uh, we got a couple trees growing right here. They're 500 trees, but are the 250 trees. I planted these, but I need the wood. So we're just going to go ahead and chop it down. No big deal. So chop that baby down, get the extra wood. That should be more than enough wood, so we'll run back into our mine. You guys can see we got double layers of spikes and stuff. There's our doorway. Um, it's probably the first time you guys seen this. This is going to be our tutorial house, so you guys are going to see this thing kind of slowly build. You can see we had other people in here. We had Eagle and Yeti was in here, Deadly was in here, but there's some issues with Deadly's connection because he's out of the country, as we've said many times. So we had some issues with his connection. So let's go ahead, hop back down here. We'll go ahead and throw this little wood frame down here. We'll chop these babies up real quick, or not chop them up, but craft them real quick. And we'll crouch down, get this one, there we go. And then there was one more, wasn't there? There was not. So we've dug our little hole out. So then we'll go ahead, we'll jump into our thing, create our door super fast. Once I find our door, 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 there it is, wood door. So I'll go ahead and do that. And what we're going to end up doing, guys, is we're going to actually going to end up uh, doing a lot of hunting here soon. Reason being is you guys need to have a lot of hide uh, because we do want to make our forge. So let's go ahead and jump in here and show you guys what we are going to do. I'm going to keep my forge down here like that because it also gives me a secondary defense. So if I were to get attacked, my defense is down here. So they have to go through the whole the house. We could, you know, man, landmine the house and stuff in case we ever got attacked for some reason on day seven and that we weren't prepared and everything. So we'll go ahead. You guys can see here, uh, we're going to look for the forge. Uh, it's going to be in here. It should be in here, right? Press it under. Turn over. There it is. Forge. So this is why I said save your short iron pipes, guys. Uh, you have to make bellows also. And the bellows are what are actually are expensive. So... Actually, I don't know why I'm in here. It's under basics, by the way, too. It's a little, little fun fact because it is one of those important basic things. 
but I don't think bellows are under here. They are not. So let's go ahead and check for bellows. It's under resources. There it is. So you guys can see, it's, it's you need another pipe for that. You need one set of uh, things. So I have one pipe already. We're going to hopefully get a second one so we can create that forge. We're going to have to go hunt down a second pipe because we don't have a forge yet, so you can't create the pipe and everything. So that's why you want to save those short iron pipes initially. That'll be worth it. And you do continue to kind of use them throughout the game. So we're going to go ahead, get these hide built up. We'll get the forge started. Um, I'll have the forge with me when I start the second episode and everything. So that'll be good to go. But I want to also show you guys, you guys can step forward. You can see here, and you can shut the door, and you can mine it. But see how what I was talking about with that door issue? So what you do is you crouch. Oh, it's going to still do it, isn't it? Yep, so we're going to have to chop up the door. This is what I was talking about. I, forgot, I thought it was further. Um, I, I was wrong, obviously. So we're going to go two layers. I totally forgot about that. And we'll just go ahead and chop these last two layers so we can put our door back down and get mining properly here soon because we're going to make a nice grand room initially. We'll put some pillars in there. We're going to have a lot of cobblestone and stuff we can create because obviously we've got a lot of rock and stuff. So we'll go ahead, create some mining area here, and we'll start producing what we need to produce to keep things going. And I'm just going to go ahead and chop this section out, and I'll place the door down, and then you guys can see what we're going to do. And, and I'll kind of start building my way up to what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to keep it more natural for my mind. And everything so there you go we got a little section right there let's go ahead and place our building uh, this is just the shaft down guys i want to note again this is not the full completion of what i want to do uh, what i do want to do is actually put down um i'm gonna make a whole section back here and everything so as i said now i can shut the door I can pull up my axe and we can start mining out whatever we're going to use here um we can dig straight up if we want to which we will dig straight up so um, we'll start mining that out and everything so we can start creating our main room uh, but i'll do that more after this episode on the next episode so that's going to do it for this guys on this episode i hope you guys are enjoying some of these new seven day tutorials from our new viewers probably watching some seven day stuff uh, and if you guys have any questions or anything you want to see more, let me know. Just send me a message, or not send me a message, I just leave a comment, let us know. Uh, but guys, go ahead, um, we'll see you guys on the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Everyone have a great day.